Hi there friends! I'm Sarah and welcome to Oh So Kawaii. had a lot of people on TikTok being like, oh my god, I love your makeup, can you do a makeup tutorial? So I thought, what better way to start with doing makeup tutorials than to show you how I do my signature pink look, which is this one. Uh, you've probably seen me with this kind of makeup in all sorts of videos and all sorts of photos, so today I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. First I'm going to start with a nice clean face. Next it's time to prime with Too Faced Hangover Primer. I'm going to put it all over my face and it's going to make my foundation stick. Next up it's time for brows. I actually use a liquid lip colour from Lime Crime to do my eyebrows because it's really hard to find eyebrow stuff in pink. So I'm just going to use that lip colour and draw a lovely brow shape on like so. And then I'm going to fill it in, just to make them look nice and full. When you're doing your brows, it's okay if they don't look absolutely identical. Remember, you want them to look like sisters, not twins. Ta-da! Brows are done! So now we're going to grab some concealer and give it a good squeeze, put some out onto your hand. Once you've got a little bit, you're going to grab a small brush and just underline those brows to give them some definition and make them look nice and sharp. I find it a lot easier to do this with a smaller brush as it lets me get those really sharp lines underneath my eyebrows. Once I'm done underlining my eyebrows, I actually take my foundation and use that colour to do the top of my brows as well. It just means that when I put my foundation on, I'm not going to have glowing brows and that foundation line across the top is going to blend in nicely. Brows are now done, so I'm going to grab my sponge and start concealing under my eyes. I use the same colour that I used to line underneath my eyebrows. And I'm just putting a very small amount, blend it in nicely underneath my eyes to cover up those eye bags because I am always a sleepy girl. Next it is time for some eyeshadow primer. I'm just using my finger to apply it so I can get a nice even coverage all over my eyelid. Next it's time for eyeshadow and we're using my favourite palette Lime Crimes Venus 3. I'm going to get a big fluffy brush and use the colour Dreamy and I'm going to cover the top of my lids like so. Make sure that you blend and blend and then blend some more to make sure you get a really even coverage. Next I'm going to take a smaller brush and use the colour Paradise and put it right in that crease of my eye. Don't forget to blend! I like to take a fluffy brush and then do big circular motions to blend this in. This is what we've got so far. Not too bad. Now I'm going to take my little brush again and some concealer and I'm going to cut that crease. I'm only taking the concealer to about the middle of my eye because I'm going to blend it in with some darker colours a little bit later. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and pack Beam in over the top of that concealer. This is such a lovely pink shiny colour. I love it so much.
and ta-da! Now we're looking all shiny. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into Paradise and I am just gonna blend that darker color into the edge of my new shiny bits. Doesn't it look awesome? Check out that fade. Now it is time for foundation. I use Dermablend and I am just applying that with a sponge all over my face. Make sure to blend your foundation down and into your neck a little bit because you don't want it to look like you're wearing a mask. Now it's time to set. I'm taking a translucent powder and I'm just going to put that all over my foundation to make sure it isn't going anywhere. Time to get our glow on with Lime Crimes Opal's palette. I'm going to take the pink colour and I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner of my eye to make me look all shiny. Then I'm going to drag some of that colour down and put it underneath my eyes for a little extra emphasis. Now I'm going to take a bigger brush and I'm going to apply that same colour to the top of my cheeks to get that awesome glow that we all love. Using my dark pink Too Faced blush, I'm going to take a small amount of product and do X's and O's to apply a small amount to my cheeks. Now I'm going to show you how I do my eyeliner. I actually use a vamp stamp to get those killer wings and it's super easy. I paint some eyeliner on the end of the stamp and then boop, stick it on my face like so. Then I get my dagger eyeliner from Kat Von D and I fill out the rest on my eye. I always start by drawing a very thin line because it's much easier to make your eyeliner thicker than it is to make it thinner if you do it too thick to begin with. When you're doing your eyeliner, it's okay to support your skin with your finger, but you definitely don't want to be stretching it out because that'll distort your eyeliner once you finally let go of your face. Once my eyeliner is done, it's time for mascara. I use Too Faced Better Than Sex. I like to apply to my bottom lashes first, because if you apply to your top lashes first, then when you're looking up to do your bottoms, you're gonna end up getting mascara all over your lovely eyeshadow that you just did. Of course, what I look is done without some fake lashes. I've got these lovely flared ones from Model Rocks and I'm going to attach them using their adhesive glue because it doesn't actually contain any latex. I'm just going to paint the glue on the inside of the lash band and I'm going to give it a blow and I'm going to shake it around a bit because you want your glue to be tacky before you stick it on your face. It just makes it apply better. I'm going to apply this by sticking it in the middle first and then going and attaching the edges afterwards. And of course, my fan to help it dry quickly because I'm impatient. I'm going to go and do the same thing on my other eye. Make sure you hold your lashes tight. You would not believe how many I have thrown across my room whilst trying to make them dry like that. Na 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 Ta-da! Our eyes are done. So now we're going to move on to lips. I've got a pink lip liner that I am going to just draw the outline of my lips with. I do tend to overline a little bit because I have quite thin lips.
Now it's time for lipstick and I'm using my favourite shade, which is Lala from Sugar Pills Little Twin Stars collaboration. Now I'm going to apply this with a brush because it just makes for finer lines and uh, neater lip lines when you do it this way. Mwah. My look is finally complete, so it is time to set with my Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. And dry with my fan, because like I said previously, I'm impatient. And ta-da! The look is done! Yay! Thank you so much for sticking around and watching my YouTube tutorial on my iconic pink eyeshadow look. I really hope you enjoyed the video. This is one of my favorite looks to wear and I do it all the time. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because you love me. Leave me a comment below telling me what you think of the makeup and any other looks you'd like to see me do. And until next time, love love. Bye bye now.